My name is Sally Huss. I write and illustrate children's books. I'm going to read one to you now. It's called A Lesson for Every Child. Learning about food allergies. Mrs. Emerson loved learning and she loved sharing what she learned. That's why she was a great teacher. So it was not surprising that she was delighted when a new student was brought into her classroom. Welcome, she said. As she read through his file, she became even more delighted. Friends, friends, she called to her students. We have an extraordinary opportunity to learn something new. And Jack here is going to be our teacher. His parents have given permission for him to tell us about it. Jack wiggled down in his seat. He never wanted to be the center of attention. You know something that we all need to know, she said to him. When she said that, Jack sat up. Mrs. Emerson explained to the class that Jack was just like everyone else except for one thing. He has food allergies, she said. Would you like, would you explain that to us, Jack? Jack stood up, rather pleased that he knew something no one else knew. Food allergies are very scary. It's when your body doesn't like certain foods and it reacts to them. Sophia raised her hand. How does it react? Jack continued. When I eat something that I shouldn't, my face can puff up and turn red. My tongue and mouth can swell. My stomach hurts. I may not be able to breathe and even worse. Sean wanted to know, what do you do then? Jack pulled something out of his backpack. This is a special device, a little device with a big name called an epinephrine auto injector. It can release medication into my body like a shot to make the reaction stop. But 911 must also be called to help me. Every second matters during an allergic reaction. Jack pushed up his sleeve. I even wear a medic alert bracelet to let others know of my condition. Mostly, I have to avoid certain foods. What foods? asked Ava, popping out of her chair. A lot of things kids love, like cakes, cupcakes, and muffins because they have eggs in them, and peanut butter because I'm allergic to peanuts. Other kids can't drink milk or eat cheese or ice cream because they are allergic to milk products. Still others can't eat fish, shellfish, tree nuts, or foods with soy. With each explanation, the kids' eyes became wider. Well then, what do you eat? asked Cole. I eat all the things my body likes. Apples, oranges, grapes, bananas, peas and carrots, other vegetables, salads, and meat. What's the hardest part of having food allergies? Mrs. Emerson wanted to know. being different from other kids because I have to be so careful all the time. Many kids don't understand and make fun of me. The room was silent for a moment as the students imagined what it would be like to have food allergies themselves. Proudly, Jack added, I'm learning to read labels on boxes and cans of foods now to protect myself. When will the food allergies go away? Ava asked. Probably never, said Jack. There is no cure now. Maybe one day. 
I just have to be careful with what I eat and avoid the foods I'm allergic to. Luca stood up, but what do you do on holidays and celebrations? I do what everyone else does. I open packages and play games, but I watch everything I eat and never take a bite of something that I don't know exactly what's in it. That doesn't sound like fun, piped up Evelyn. No, it's not fun and it's not a joke, but it is something I have to do, so I do it, repli Jack replied. With that, Mrs. Emerson, in her usual cheery way, shook Jack's hand and thanked him for sharing his story. Then she said to the class, This young man is extraordinary. He has faced a difficult situation and handled it. He is an example of someone who has tremendous self-discipline. Anyone who has that can do anything. The classroom burst into applause. When Jack walked home from school that afternoon, he had an extra spring in his step and a bigger smile on his face and a classroom full of new friends. The end, but not the end of eating what is best for you. This book, like all of my books, may be found on Amazon and on my website, sallyhuss.com.